Hello and welcome back to Shogun 2, the Satsuma Legendary Campaign, where last time we left off we had landed an army on the Tsushima Fuchu town, province of Tsushima, um, where we'll be either sieging them out or attacking them right away, because we got declared war on as well by the Miyazu just last turn, or just in the end turn sequence, basically. And we've got to protect this town now without an army, essentially. We've got a bunch of units here still. I'm probably going to run these guys over too. They won't be able to oh, they won't be able to get there for a couple turns yet, but it might be fast enough. This town is happy enough to do so as well. This guy was gonna go into here. So I'll definitely move these units over and keep the dude in there. What is that? Even if I can't reach them it's it's worth a try, you know, may as well. Um, and I have decided that rather than recruiting levy infantry, it might be better if I just recruit a like just a if I can get two Katana Katsuya, that'd be great. Actually, why don't we just first, why don't we move out the Geisha? Or Nation Shinshi? Uh, I we can move further. Is there a difference? No, there's not. Um, let's move her. Have a quick look at how far away they are. Okay, there's an army there, which has got Line of Tree, Wooden Cannon, Spear Levy, and Saber Cav. It's not too big a deal from what we can see, but there's a very good chance there's something else right there as well. I want to check you have, like, a chance of... Uh, oh, he's a daimyo. That's unfortunate. Well, it'd be good if we could see a different army. Well, then again, I'd really wish there was only this army and we'd be fine, but... Um, they're far enough away that I think we could recruit to... Turn... Why don't we do... Okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we recruit one one-turn unit and one two-turn unit? And at least we can get one Katana Kachi out there. Um... Or at least we, we get one of Levy Infantry in case this doesn't work out. Um, yeah, we get we get these four spears. We have uh, an extra one, two spear Levy from that. And then we got two, four Levy Garrison. So we have six spears, four uh, Levy Garrison. Or Levy Infantry Garrison. And then, yeah, just recruit a bunch more stuff, and then hopefully it'll be enough. If we can get these guys in there, it'd be great, but that, that would mean that they're probably gathering up more and more forces, so that isn't necessarily a good thing. Oh, we also had a Shinobi level up. Not sure when that happened, but... Take it. I'll definitely take that, and I'll actually send them north as well. That's not bad. Uh... This is a Basically, lower chance of being assassinated, there's a lower chance or a higher chance of escaping. I think I'll take that one. They both are pretty okay. Move him up this way. And possibly sabotage him. His chance should be okay, actually, I think. Eh, 46, not terrible. Both the daimyo and the son in there and there, so we know there's two generals in there. Didn't know that yet. Right, let's get him in there. Now, I'm gonna just check this out with this guy. I could have done this last time, this wasn't actually the plan. Okay, it would take four turns to siege them out. You can see the entire army. So they got four generals, one Yari Kachi, six Spear Levy, one Matchlock Kachi, one Levy Infantry, and nine Line Infantry. Well, that was weird. La, 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 la. Nine Line Infantry. Siege them out for four turns or attacking them on the field when we're the attackers. We do get naval bombardment by Five or six ships, which should be pretty strong. Oh, I could do... I could make a... No, I don't want to do that, probably. I was going to say, I could make it slightly easier. See, keep this guy besieging them, and then I can kill these two guys off by themselves, but... You know, actually... How far could they possibly run, right? Well, if, the, if this fails, then I would have to... What if I just attack with, like, four units? They might not run away. Let's try this, I guess. They'd run away, wouldn't they? There's two units in there, two crappy... Well, a general and a crappy unit. I don't want them to run, because that would be the last thing we want here. Let's, um... Let's cancel for a sec. First of all, we should do this. Alright, killed 44 dudes. I think... I think we're gonna go for the siege out. It's risky, because it'll take longer before I can get back here, but... There's a good chance they'll come see... They'll come out for me anyway. So... Why don't we 
just um yes, my lord. just do this again. Yeah, they've got a pretty decent advantage. I think they might just come out. I don't think like what are we still in range of our own? Yeah, we are in range of these guys as well. That should be good enough. Should have moved them over here just in case, but um Yeah, I think this is a good call. They'll come out and, and they'll still slide out. There's still no nowhere they can go, so I should put you in there for sure. Oh, and I've still got the ninja, but I can't move him out. I have to go back there, and yeah, we... Just wait. We'll just not use him. Right. Okay, so I'm recruiting two units here. I should just recruit a unit here as well. Or two units. Maybe i recruit some Cav here. I can run them over fairly fast. Eh, Cav aren't great in defenses, though, to be fair, but... Let's recruit two Katana Kachi here. No, let's recruit two one-turn units here, because I can... Otherwise, it'll take fucking ages for them to get anywhere. Or it'll take two turns to recruit them, and then it'll still take another three turns probably to get them up here. Which is why Cav would be good. Well, we, we don't have got wooden cannons. You know what? Cav probably would be a good idea. Let's recruit two Cav. Not really where I want to spend my money right now, but... I also really should get a general up there, so we have a general to help out, but... Eh. I, I don't like our map right now, by the way, just as a FYI. This, all the green stuff, Imperial. All the red stuff, fucking Shogun. There's so much Shogun. Um, like, we're, we're in a real issue. We've got a real issue here. Especially because one of our larger clans is in the middle of them, so they're probably going to get wiped out anywhere, any, any, but way before we could get anywhere near there. Now these guys are bordering us too. I'm pretty sure they were pro Shogun. They must have switched or something. I think we were allied. Well, we were definitely allied to the people to the east. I just don't know if it was these guys or if they wiped out whoever I was allied to. I don't remember. Um, either way, pretty rough situation we're in right now. A lot of rifles in two turns. That's good. That means I should really start up upgrading this building. Otherwise, it's still going to fall behind. We've still got uh, four turns left on that. So maybe next turn. We'll see. Definitely need to recruit some more units in there, east as well. I'm gonna... Oh, okay, they tied it out, perfect. This is good. Looking forward to this battle too. With the naval bombardment, reinforcements. Fight that one. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, actually, oh my god, that's a really interesting hill. I'm not sure if that's gonna be any good. What I was gonna say just now is that... Um, I really should finish this up quickly, which now I can, and get my navy back there. If I can get the navy reinforcement ra in reinforcement range, having six ships, that's a pretty big naval bombardment. That's going to kill a couple hundred men at least, if a full stack attacks me. So I need to build more ships in the east as well, and just get like a ten stack of ships, and we should have some pretty good uh, naval bombardments there. But anyway, I was going to say something else, but I've completely forgotten what it was, unfortunately. This hill, I'm not sure if I want to use it. It looks quite usable, actually. Yeah, that is, that is pretty good. I might want to move forward a little bit, just so we're all on more even ground, but... Yeah, I'll definitely use that. For sure. If I were to say this... Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Okay, so that's not an option. We gotta, we gotta move like over here, this line. So I think right now, let's just put like four units around here. Uh, sure. Jesus Christ. Okay, and stuff around here somewhere. Uh, it's gonna be kind of odd setting this all up, but we'll figure it out. Just sure, fine. I'll take that. Right, Cav. Still want you on the flanks. Uh, okay, I'll do. You guys. That's a little easier position to set up on. Get one over there. Keep one sure around here. That's fine. Okay. This is a pretty fucking weird hill, but I will definitely take Today, it. Today, sir, we defend. Today, sir, we defend. 
Okay, let's start with that and then we'll figure it out later. Ah, naval support, yes. Two and a half minutes, okay. Hope you guys over there. They've got a lot of spear levy, so we gotta be careful of that. Okay. I had a tip from someone. Which is, it definitely makes sense. Uh, they said basically don't put your generals, or any calf actually, behind your line. Because you'll just take collateral damage basically. And while that's definitely true, I also want to keep my generals in range so I can use Gunbate and Inspire and things like that. So it's kind of like, I, it's worth, well, I wouldn't say it's worth the risk necessarily. I just don't think the risk is big enough to really be worried about it mostly. Uh, okay. I wonder if the force is going to work against us too. Not sure exactly how I want to set this one up yet. Because I don't really know how wide their line is since their side is going to be kind of odd too. Why don't we run into position for now? Because currently they can only see my generals, I guess, and they just seem to be very focused on going this way for some reason. I think they might just be setting up wider. 1 minute 20. Mm -hmm. They might be in range before the time I can even use it. Okay, I'm going to try and set up these guys. That's all spear, yeah, definitely a little more that way. And over here, possibly take three of my units and do that. There's no forest there though, which makes it a little bit dangerous. Let's take two. These are line infantry. We don't want them to only see these two units though, because they're just going to come this way. We don't want that. The, the way they're coming on, or coming on to us. The way they're coming towards us right now is perfect. Well, we set up perfectly to deal with it. Eh, not perfect there. Definitely would like this first unit to be more like this as well, but... Yeah, please send your general in to die right away. Take that. No oh, crap. Not very wide, but that's okay. Naval support's still not there, unfortunately. Almost. 26 shells. Your men have killed their general, oh, that's a good start. Three. Alright. Let's pop it right there. It's maybe a little bit towards too far to my own line, but it should be okay. Alright. There's a levy infantry. Let's get further around the back, so hopefully those guys ignore me. Uh, you guys a little more this way. That's more... That's much luck, actually, actually. Don't really want to fight them head on. Okay, they're ignoring you, so why don't you go and kill those guys. There's a spear levy, another one protecting them. Okay, we should be able to get there before taking too many shots. Nope. There's the shots. Oh, that was pretty good right there. I didn't even really see much of that, but I see a bunch of men flying, and that's usually good enough for me. Okay, I managed to get in there without taking too much. They're wavering already. Most of the stuff at the back here is levy infantry. I'm guessing we're take we're winning the gun front, I'd imagine. I guess we need to get out of there. I'm missing a calf. That's you, right? Three of you need to get out of there. A lot of... Uh, Spear stuff at the moment. Let's just meet up over here. As long as we can keep firing, we'll be okay. okay you guys gotta turn around and deal with that shit. She. Number wise, not, wor not too worried about anything just yet. Uh, you don't want over here. Okay, get a little closer. They're just following, just completely fine with me. Okay, we're starting to route units in the middle here. Numbers are still absolutely fine. I don't see any yellow yet, except for this one unit here. I think we dealt most of their spear units, except for the ones that are chasing and such. Just walk back over there again. Got our naval bombardment again in... Can, let me... 45 seconds. Yeah, you line up to deal with those guys, please. Yeah, you're in range too. Looks like we're all... Everyone's doing something, I think. Except for this unit, wherever you are. Okay, just... Uh, go over there. Well, that's good. 
I do like me some victory. These guys are still confident. If I can keep this up, we uh, might be able to bombard those guys. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're beating all the... Oh, they're all broken shit. I really want to use that still, but... Uh, you go over there. 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 Generals, I'll fire at will. Both you and melee. Melee asset. Yes, go kill them. And you kill something too. Alright. Good stuff. Uh, I can use the naval bombardment. Uh, I kind of want to use the naval bombardment. But it's not the smartest thing to do. But it is fun. Let's put it right here. Make sure we keep this general out of there. I don't think we're even going to be able to get any shots off there. Put it right there. Okay, let's just go over here. Go back on fire wheel. Might be able to get a few pop shots off. Probably would be able to kill more if I actually went and me in melee with these guys, but... Here we go. There we go. I hit a few men. I don't really want to risk losing my general, but I also wouldn't mind just getting a few shots here with the revolvers. Should be in range. They're back on fire at will. Uh, they're out of range now. Fine. Probably could have killed more, but whatever. Uh, what are you killing? Just one uh, six. That's good enough, though. I saw some stuff over here somewhere. A little while back. There's a bunch of units, go kill them. It's the enemy. Okay. Um, a naval bombard one. The first one was definitely pretty damn good though. There is the unit, I think I saw. Uh, why don't you go kill them instead? Where did I send you? Oh, you're in here, okay. This general, yeah, you're kind of done. I guess there's nothing else to kill here. We're not going to have killed off their entire army, but definitely enough to out of all the rest of it. Wouldn't mind seeing the kills in a minute. We really lost very little. I guess forests do really help in this as well. I didn't think they were as, they were going to be as good as they were. We lost so little. Like, like we really lost very little men. It's quite surprising how little we lost. Okay, that unit's dead. Uh, you're the only unit still moving. Good enough. Decisive victory, I'd say so. I possibly would have even just thrown in a heroic victory there, there, but it might be okay that it didn't do that because that would have triggered the realm divide, I think. At least I know in regular Shogun 2, heroic victories count towards the, you know, the, the, the power of bar thingy, whatever it's called. I'm not sure if it doesn't follow Samurai 2, but I'd imagine so. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at those kills real quick. 478, okay, that's a calf though. Line of 176, 173, 160, 126, 125, 122, 122, 116. Uh, that's all very good numbers right there. The lowest on 73, that's a very good average. That's that's really good. I'm guessing there may have been one on the flanks or something, I don't even know. Maybe the one that was in the center that wasn't firing for a while. Well, they're dead, and we can definitely auto the rest of that. Okay, they are incoming. I think they might reach next turn, but it means we're going to have at least one more unit in there. Which I f hope is going to be enough. I'm not sure if it will be. I guess we'll have to find out. I'm not sure if they can reach in one turn. They're still wounded, it seems, as well. These guys are slightly wounded. This guy's wounded. They are replenishing for another turn, but... To distract them. If I can half their army movement, would be pretty good. Uh, I think I value knowing more right now. Higher. Okay, it looks like that's the only incoming army. If they can't reach, this should be good. I'll get at least one more unit. Or at least I'll, I'll get two more units even, because I can recruit one more. Uh, let's get one more heavy infantry. I think I'll be fine either way. These guys would get there, but it would be too late. I'll keep moving these guys anyway and get their three turns, reinforcement range at least. I can try and sabotage them, but I think I've got other things I'd rather spend my money on right now. As much as I kind of need to 
I mean, if I do this, I can almost guarantee we win the fight. But it, he might not be in range. He moved from over here to there. I don't know. It's going to be close. Let's just see. Because the thing is, I really want to I really want to get this building. And if I do that, obviously, I don't have the money anymore. Then again, if I fail, I guess I keep half my money. So that might be okay. Let's take this town and see how much it would cost to repair stuff. Because I need to repair the port too. Oh man, almost tempted. 17 grand right now. Can we get a vassal? I would say probably not worth it. On the, on the other hand, it's like... It would it would make it a lot easier to... Um, like, I wouldn't have to protect this, this myself. Like, if there's naval invasions here, it'd be pretty damn annoying. I guess I'll just, I'll just take it. Kampaka! Satsuma, the civil war rages on. Our achievements in the Emperor's name have been without equal. In honor of your loyalty and diligence, he has declared your regent. You may now appoint a general to the office of commander-in-chief. Oh my god, I just realized. We should have switched. I, I think we could have done it last turn. If we switched, <laughs> we would have been done almost instantly. I mean, we still needed to take... We would have still need to take a bunch of promises ourselves. We need to, um, 38, so we need 25 more. Just quite a bit, but it would have been pretty funny. Anyway, that costs quite a lot of money. If we cancel that one, because I guess we're not that much in a rush right now. Can we leave immediately? We can. It's, it's going to be 100% pro sugar, though. I don't think we can legitimately leave here and have this be happy. Unless I want to leave some stuff behind, which I don't really... I'll think about that. For now, let's do this. Let's do it. If I fail, I keep half my money. If we succeed, we almost guarantee we win this. So I think that's good enough for that reason alone. <sighs> okay. Now, this situation. I can move out immediately. But I guarantee this place is going to be unhappy. This will remove some unhappiness. Financial district. Uh, I guess I gotta keep that, but it's level 3. Yeah, that's why it's so unhappy. Minus 1. Plus 1 as well, I suppose. So, it's equal. Um, Alright, so it says 1 happiness right now. It's going to be 2, 3... What's this? Recent events. Oh, that's gonna go away at some point. Anyway, three, nine, and that's gonna decay. So yeah, it's gonna be eight. Then actually, yeah, eight exempting from taxes wouldn't be enough. I'd have to build some units, which I could do next turn, but I don't even know if that'd be fast enough. Um. The question, like, the, the, the reason I'm asking, or I'm wondering, I guess I could leave the Yari key behind. I think I'd be alright with that. We can, we've can we got two more on the way anyway, and I guess I could recruit some more, or move them away over time when I've got some other units here. I think that might be okay. I don't think four is even going to be enough. It will be if I exempt the town from taxes, which I guess I'll have to do. Right, let's put you in here. Let's keep the Yari key behind. I could keep some line if it should be behind, but I think we'll be fine. Alright. Let's move. Alright. Not going to be very replenished either, but... Uh, that's interesting. Probably still want to move land right there, though, I'd imagine. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be pretty damn unhappy, but I think it'll be fine if I exempt it from taxes next turn. Oh, fuck! I forgot... My veteran, foreign veteran, wait for me! Good day to you, sir. Yeah, I'll repair it, build one gunboat, and send him over or something. Then again, we got, we're about to go to war with everyone, so this this is actually kind of dangerous too, and think about that. Well, so be it. Uh, I guess it hasn't happened yet. I'm already trading with everyone anyway. Jesus Christ. No one left. We're already trading with like all the people we could possibly trade with. We There's only three... 
Oh no, there's four, because there's that one, I just don't know who they are yet. There's four Shogunate clans left, I'm assuming these are the same one. Oh my god. Right, we've got a promotion, so I can give someone this thing, whatever it does. Minus 2% of the cost of recruiting units, plus 1 to the morale of all units under the mouse command. Do I want someone to have that over something else? Ah, still pretty good. Mm, eh. I'll probably just give it to whoever comes next. I don't care too much. Alright. End that turn. Don't do that. Don't be a pee hole. Or any other type of hole. I think this might be a regular Shogun 2 campaign, basically. Us against the world, which is going to be pretty damn tough. <laughs> but so be it. Our province bombarded, mounting arrests. We definitely don't want that. Well, we do, but not right now. I definitely want to get this. Or new fire. No, I want to get that, yeah. Uh, ah, right, so I can... Uh, I, can, I, can I mean, this is almost... <laughs> This would almost be what this campaign is already anyway, but if I do this right now, we'd get absolutely fucked immediately because we don't have, we're not prepared to deal with everyone at the moment. Um, I know people keep asking me, oh, you should go for uh, Republic or whatever the hell it's called. I'm like, eh. I don't really, like, I've been told that it's, even on, on easier difficulties, it's fucking hell dealing with naval bombardments and shit constantly, and I can't be bothered to, with that. Maybe in a different campaign at some point, but right now I'm just going to stay and just fight for the Emperor. Each clan have chosen their destiny. We will serve the Emperor with strength and honor. Friends will become enemies, and enemies friends. But these broken promises no longer concern us. For there remains but two fates. Those who find glory and those who invite death for religion. Imperial strength will be restored. The Emperor will be victorious. Yay! Victory! Alright, so we are now the Satsuma Imperial Vanguard. Now we're red. Because that's the way things work. Okay, um... Let's just do this turn. I, I was going to end it, actually, because stuff, but I also we fight for the Emperor. should keep going. At once. Um, because I don't want to have to do that stuff again next time. Right, so we got to repair this. Our income is still 4k, so it's not bad. Got to repair that. We are at minus 2. This is going away to minus 1. That's going away, so it'll be 0. That's still going up, though. If I recruit... Burp. If I recruit a single unit right now, that would be enough to keep it at zero. So we don't have to exempt it just yet, which would be good because we need that every little bit of money we can get. Uh, that's staying. So yeah, let me just make sure. So minus one, zero, minus one, and one unit will make it fine. Yes, okay. Let's do that. Uh, I want to just... This is sparing soil. It's gonna get a cottage industry, I guess. Okay. And we'll recruit a gunboat next turn and send our dude over. It's kinda of dangerous right now, but. Alright, our army's back here. So I feel relatively safe right now, at least. Get them in there. And just switch it all around. And. How many room, or how much room have we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, four. Uh, I really should put him in there. Just I hate having like one katana kachi in there, but sure. Actually, no, we we probably don't even want to do that. We get an extra, we get the extra six units anyway, so it doesn't change much. I could put the katana kachi in there instead of one of those guys, but no, this is fine. They probably won't even attack me anymore now, honestly. Oh my god, the fucking bridge is blocked by that guy. What a twat! Let's get back in there. You just stay around here. This is far enough that we know. I guess we can check out this town quickly since it's right there. 
Okay, line up a tree. I want to switch them around with the ninja, or around with the ninja, I should say. But we'll do that later. Okay, so we got our two Yariki. I'm tempted to make two more just so I got my four again. I don't really want to spend money on that right now, though. Uh, so this is looking good. This is going to be done in three turns. We still need to upgrade that. We don't have the money for that right now, unfortunately. Because we can actually get the next one after that, and that means we can get Imperial Infantry, which is exactly what we want to do right now. They bombarded this, which is very unfortunate. That should fix it. Uh, I should probably build more navy. Actually, speaking of navy, I should repair this navy. And I should move my ninja off. Uh, why don't you go over here? I might want to get one down here, because I can't imagine my ally here is going to last very long. I need to know when they're going to come and attack me here. So, yeah, why don't we... My lord. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Why don't you go this way? Well, actually, we got one in the town, don't we? Yeah, let's put him there. Why don't you go down this way? Uh, okay. What is this army over here right now? What is this? Let's just get rid of these dudes. Because that just looks disgusting. We need to get another navy, so why don't we start building one right here. Uh, okay. I don't like this. These guys are like, super super weak. I don't think I ever I can ever rely on them to do anything useful. Saga, I don't know about them. They've been sitting there for goddamn ages as well, but I don't know. Things have changed now, I suppose. Alright, so that's gonna be fine. Uh, this is fine now. Blah. And uh, stuff. So, pretty good. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but... I'm probably not. I really wish I hadn't forgotten him. It's not really a big deal, it's just kind of annoying. He's just sort of standing there and not like... <laughs> Where's my ship? Um, I'm gonna keep this gunboat, I reckon. For now. It's been useful for exploring and stuff. It only cost 61. We're not really close to going broke at the moment. Uh, Tosa. My god, the fucking Tosa are the Shogun of Vanguard? Are you kidding me? They switched. How can you rely on people like that? Interestingly enough, though, they've only got fucking four regions. Oh, shit, they've only got four regions. The Hiroshima took this. So they don't have, they don't have two regions anymore. They, they've got three now, so they've got an army here. Well, it's going to be interesting if we... Uh, well, because they're my next target, basically. Well, besides these guys, I suppose. They're my next target. So, interestingly enough, we're going to probably take out Tosa... Or the Shogun of Vanguard first of all the clans. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Why the fuck did they make them the Shogun of Vanguard? It's ridiculous. Hey, you guys, turncoats. I know it's a very. We should speak uh, of wait, matters. We're gonna join war against the Edo. And so We're gonna get declared war on in a minute anyway. Can I get some money from you? Yeah, it's like, hey, you, you turncoats, you you want to be our um, like leading clan? Toys is like, fuck yeah, mate. Maybe that's what they were promised. To switch in order for you, if if you switch from fine, I was fucking junior war. If you switch from uh, from imperial to shogun, we will promise you that you will become our shogunal vanguard. They're like fucking hell, dude. That is the sickest offering anyone's ever made me. I will definitely switch to your allegiance just for that. Could you guys not do that, please? You stop bombarding my places and just generally being twats' faces. Okay, here we go. So it's kind of scary when you see this and it's like, oh right, this is normal. It's not actually me at all in any of those. Well, that's it. Saga. Sue. So the Sue is one of our clans. Is that the one? That, that must be the one over there. I know the Sue started in Atori starring bronze of Iga, I think it is. Sue, Sue, yeah, it's all Sue. Okay, so yeah, that must be. There must only be one clan, and this is Sue. I'm pretty sure they had one. Did they lose a region just now? They they started in Iga. I guess I don't even own that anymore, so that's kind of unfortunate for them. Anyway, that is going to be it for this turn episode. Even thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We uh, are looking. I mean, we're looking okay in general. It's just that we're very not. Well prepared? That's definitely sentence. We're not very well prepared. 
Um, I mean, we are prepared to deal with anything currently over here. We've got an army back here, so we're prepared in that sense. The thing that we're not prepared on is that we basically don't have any good units currently. We just only have the line infantry. And I know we can win the campaign with that, because I've done it before, although that, I think that was on hard difficulty. Um, and we are working towards, pretty rapidly actually, in fact, towards uh, recruiting better units. We just need to recruit this, or upgrade, or get this building, and then get the other one after that as well. Unfortunately, this is going away, so I need to queue it up this turn for sure. Um, yeah, we need to get two more buildings, then we can start building Imperial Infantry. It'll still be a while before we actually have all of our armies ready, but it's definitely going to be a lot faster than the Josai campaign, that's for sure. But I, think we're, I think we're looking okay. Uh, looking okay. Anyway, next time. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.